Hi guys, and welcome back to Mr. Stein's channel. I am Mr. Stein, as you guys know. Today we are gonna make Super Mario, as requested by one of the students. I hope it turns out well. I am by no means a master Mario maker, but I will do my best. As always, simply try your best, just like I do. Look for the shapes, look for the colors, look at the angles, and just take your time. Follow me at your own pace. Erase as needed, I have an eraser as well. If you don't have any colors, just use a pencil, just like me. I do have some colors, and you can see the picture as I draw, if that helps you out. I'm gonna start with the head, because I find that to be one of the hardest parts, and it's one of the bigger shapes on the paper. Make sure you leave space for the hat, so you don't wanna go too big. So I'm gonna start around here, and then somewhere around kinda here. So not a huge head. I'm gonna make kind of a frowny for the shape. Then I'm gonna bring it down, down, and then curve it around. He's got some chubby cheeks. He's been eating a lot of pasta. I'm gonna add the shape of the hat, which kind of comes out on each side a little bit, and then kind of rises up. And then I'm gonna add the top, which is just a large frowny face. So it's gonna go up pretty much all the way to the top. Connect in the middle. And you've got a basic shape for Mario's hat. You can add that little circle in the middle and make a bubble or box letter M for Mario. Or if you want, you can always put your own letter in there. Be creative. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now I'm going to add his hair kind of around here. He's got some hair on each side. Not a lot of hair, but he does have some. He is not bald. His ears go on the outside of the hair. They're not perfectly shaped, as you can see but you can show a hint of the inside. So it's kind of the start of the question mark like you guys have done in class, but you don't see the whole question mark. Now he's got a pretty big nose and kind of everything else touches the nose. So I'm gonna do the nose first for the face. I'm sketching as I draw. So it's okay if when I color in it's not perfect, no worries at all. I'm gonna add that big goofy mustache. I have one similar, but not quite as goofy as that one, as you guys know. You know, my hair is getting longer and longer and longer. So you never know, by the time you guys see me next, I might have a mustache like that or even bigger. Give him a hint of a mouth. You can see they don't really show him a big mouth, but if you want to, you can open it up into a bigger mouth if you like. Here's a little hint of the chin. Now, his eyes. His eyes, they're not really full circles or even ovals. They're kind of their own shape. So, you just kind of follow along. Goes up, around, and kind of curves back in. Try to keep it symmetrical on both sides. I know that's not easy. Even I have trouble doing that still. But that's pretty close. He's got an eyeball and a pupil. Eyeball and pupil, we'll color them in later. And don't forget his eyebrows. They're frowny faces. And kind of like that, you can curve them, you can make them bushy if you like. You can raise one and lower one if you want to be silly, like he's squinting or looks surprised. It would help if my pencil did not break, so I'm going to switch to a crayon for the next couple parts. So works pretty well, I just can't erase it. So we have the head. Not bad, not perfect, but not bad at all. Next up is gonna be the body. Now his arms kind of start up here, so I'm just gonna put a hint of the arms so I don't lose track of where they go. He's got overalls, so they kind of come on down like this and curve, so it's like a rectangle with a curvy bottom or a pointy bottom, you can do either. I did a pointy triangle on this one. 
So I'm going to do a curvy one on this one just to be creative. Again, try to keep it symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. Give them a big belly area. And then his legs come down like a rectangle. The same on each side again. Now this one has a bit of a bigger belly, but again, we don't have to be perfect. We're all just trying our best. He's got pants. Give him some shoes. If it overlaps off the paper, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have enough space and you fit it onto the paper perfectly, that's also great. Now his arms kind of go down like that, like that. Curve them in like that to kind of show where the cuff is going to go. So I'll do the same on both sides so I don't lose track of kind of where they're going. And the hands are the hardest part. So if you don't get them just right, don't worry. You can always make your own version. But he's kind of got a fist. See? Now I kind of go like that. I curve it in. I make a line. Curve it in. Make another line. That way it kind of looks like he is making a little fist. It's not perfect. This one turned out a bit better. But again, like I keep telling you, just try your best. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Especially when you're trying to use a crayon, a marker, a pencil, ketchup, whatever you have available in your house. If you switch to mustard, you never know it might work. Just use the mustard for the buttons. It's the right color. So same on this side. So again, I can kind of curve it in a bit. So it looks like he's got fingers or knuckles. And the thumb kind of tucks in underneath like a fist. So I've got a pretty good Mario. So now I've got to color him. So as long as I have the black out, I'll do the black areas first. If you don't have any crayons or markers, don't worry. You can just leave him as a pencil drawing, it's fine. Color his mustache in. Remember where I tell you guys, keep your hand and wrist down for more control. Take your time. If you need to, you can trace each piece before you color it to have, give yourself a bit more control. So I have the black that I want kind of already done. I'm gonna switch to my next color, which for me is gonna be brown, which rolled over here. I'm gonna color his hair in brown. If you wanna be creative, you can make it yellow like he's got blonde hair. Give him tie-dye hair, have a bit of fun. I'm gonna take a couple of blues for his eyes because I like to make his eyes a bit more beautiful or beautiful. Yes, I know, bad joke. You guys are used to that in my class. I like to make bad jokes all the time, as you guys know. His eyeballs, leave his eyes white, like I always tell you guys in class. Don't color in the eyes. I almost forgot he needs some buttons. There we go. Some golden yellow buttons. Now we can trace and fill in his overalls. His nice plumber overalls. You know, yet I've never seen him actually fix any pipes in any video game, so I'm not so sure he's a very good plumber. I'd be careful hiring him. He might not do a great job, but he'll probably find you lots of gold coins, so there is that. So here we go. He's got good overalls now. So now we can switch to red. The hat and the shirt's gonna be red. Now, if you don't have two reds and you wanna show some differences in color, just press harder where you want the red to look darker. 
like maybe on the brim of his hat a bit. And push a bit lighter where you want it to look a bit lighter. That way it looks like you used two different colors when you really only used one. It's all about how hard you push. So you don't need to have 20 or 30 colors. You can make a whole lot of colors using just a handful of them. It's all about how hard you push. You can even overlap your colors to make different shades of them. So again, light red, dark red. Maybe I'll make this part darker as well so it pops out a bit. See, darker again. I'll color his shirt in as well. See, lighter and darker. Leave his hands white. He does white glove service, which means he does everything for you, cleans up afterwards. He's a very good man like that. Now I'm gonna do brown shoes, but you can always pick a different color. Maybe he's got green shoes on today. Maybe he borrowed Luigi's shoes and he just didn't tell Luigi before he left the house. And last but not least, I'll use a peach for the skin. I'll go a bit darker peach for the nose, so I'll push a little bit harder. That way it pops out a little bit more. So maybe same with the ears, so it looks a little bit different. And then for the face, maybe a little bit lighter. And we have Mario, pretty good. If you want to have a bit of fun, you can even make some coins, like he's collecting his coins. You could give him a background, like he's running through something or some pipes in the background. Have a bit of fun, you know what to do. Put your name on it any way you like. Sign in the bottom corner if you like. Maybe in the top corner. Since I don't have a lot of space down here, I'll sign my name right up here at the top. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. It's a little bit harder. So if you're younger, have your parents help you if you like. Don't worry if it's perfect. If you're a little bit older, you can probably handle this. Take it easy, guys, and hope to see everybody soon again.